show y'all something real quick. So this is the new the new brand that is my mini, but it used to be Nostalgia. I have used both of these items on my Jackery 500. She over there making noise. I've used both of these on my Jackery 500 and they work and they only pull like 250 watts. But this is the new my mini. My friend got this one and it pulls 500 watts. So if if you see like it says nostalgia and my mini but they change brands i don't know if like these work better and maybe they have more, that's why they have more power and they're pulling more wattage um but like if you're like me who moves a little bit too or who moves a little bit too fast just think before you buy the my minis thinking that they're going to work on your jackery 500 or any power bank you have that only um um has 500. if it has more than 500 power then you're good to go but this these are going to pull more than 500 the ones that says nostalgia on it doesn't i have this i have used it many many times i've used this as well i've also used this crock pot let me show y'all the crock pot that i used i use the actual crock pot it's the it's the two quart actually i have the one and one and a half quart but this two quart i looked it up online the highest that it's supposed to pull is um 150 watts but i'm gonna actually go home and try it on my jackery just so i make sure i'm giving y'all the right information but this claw pot is only 12 dollars, and i think when i bought mine um mine didn't have as many levels um the one that i did have it had three levels no two levels it just had high and low just high and low this one has four um it has off low high and then a warm setting mine didn't have a warm setting so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show y'all that so y'all can see how it works. But there's so many other cute things here. Walmart just doesn't give a good, um, like they don't let you know how much wattage things is. Like this is my mainstay. And this is a two quart air fryer. And I, I know this wouldn't pull, um, I know this would pull over 500 watts, but I'm, I just really wanna know how much it is because I wanted to upgrade my Jackery. I'm thinking about getting a 2000 and just, for me to just figure out what appliances that i'm gonna want while we're on the road it'd be good to know if they just had their wattage right there too but yeah that's all i just wanted to share that with y'all saying because Walmart had their music up and baby girl was in the back making noises so I'm not sure all um, if y'all heard me but this is the nostalgia waffle maker that I used actually this is the heart shaped one I have a regular one as well but this is the heart shaped one and this is nostalgia but it's still if you see underneath it says my mini so it's still the same brand it looked like they rebranded which a lot of places thing places and things are doing now they rebranded it and now it doesn't say nostalgia anymore it just says my mini like their stuff has my mini so on this noodle cooker and skillet it tells you on the front how many watts it is it lets you know that it's 260 watts their products did not do that at first um and there's a lot of products that don't so when i was first preparing to move into the kia soul i was just overly excited and just getting things and not taking into account that my jackery was only 500 watts so i had bought like a one burner or one burner i know y'all like obviously that's more than 500 watts wasn't thinking like i said i'm really excited so now i just have to be a little bit more careful when i buy things like this fan for instance we used this last year it didn't have i really just um i really just jumped the gun because it didn't have anything on it that said how many watts it is but the jackery does work well on it again i have the jackery 500 we're gonna go ahead and test some of these products out. Right now it's charged at 89%. So it's at 89%. And 
And this is the fan. Let's see how much power the fan takes. It goes to the highest level first. So this is the highest level. So like the highest level is 42. And we use this fan a lot. And it actually really, it really worked. It made a big difference. And that's the middle setting. Taking 32 watt output. And then the lowest setting, taking 28 watts, 24 watts output. Okay. So that's the fan. I got it from Walmart. I got it last year, so I no longer have the box. So I don't know what fan this is. On the back, it doesn't even tell you how many watts the fan is or anything like that. Um, so yeah. But it is by Walmart because it's mainstay. And that's like um, Walmart's. If it's not Walmart's brand, I know that they endorse Walmart in some type of way. Because Walmart always have mainstay. Um, house appliances and things like that. So, I saw this little heater, and it's little, it is little. I saw this heater, and when I walked past it, it said that it was 350 watts. So, I grabbed it. Now, obviously, if my jackery is 500, this is not something that can be ran all night. But, y'all, this little heater works. I've kind of been manhandling it already. Like, it's already broke right there. I did it. It wasn't broke when I opened it, so. <laughs> but it actually really works. It's just a cute little heater. And this is by Mainstay as well. They have a whole bunch at my Walmart, so. So just plugging it in without it even being on, the output is 3 watts. And if I turn it on, So it had went all the way up to, to like 400 something. It's trying to balance itself out, seem like. It was at 253. So it seemed like it's balancing itself out without going to 250, 250 watts. So I wouldn't be able to use this very, very long. But if I needed like a quick heat up or whatever this is definitely something that will work and if i had that's what i'm trying to upgrade because if i had the jeffrey 2000 i could definitely make use of an item like this because it, it works i used it in our bedroom and i didn't even need it on that long for it to feel nice you know with me having my blanket on and things like that for it to warm up i was highly surprised i was highly surprised so, and it's still like, yeah, y'all, don't be sleeping on the mini stuff. Let me try out this one since it doesn't have any wattage on it. This is a Nostalgia My Mini Waffle Maker, but it's in the heart shape. I have the regular shape as well. This one is just the heart shape. I'm not good at tearing things off and opening opening things my hands are flicked it okay this is so cute this is the cutest little thing and it's the shape of a heart and I also people can make be making eggs with um this little machine so let's see how many watts it is So it's just a it's just a plug up one doesn't have my other one has a little button on it. This one is just a plug up. Oh yeah, the light is orange. So you just plug it up and it's automatically on. So that should tell you right there, don't unplug it. I mean don't um forget to unplug it. Okay, so my jacket is at 87%. And 
this this is actually going up there this is getting up there a lot the one i already have doesn't get up this high it doesn't get up to more than um more than 250 so this is letting me know that i probably have to use this waffle waffle maker with my jackery charge all the way up to um 500 i mean all the way up to 100 percent it just went off okay so it does tell you in the book as soon as you open the book i thought it should tell you on the box it doesn't tell you on the box and i looked at that box so this is 550 watts that means that i cannot use my heart waffle maker but it's okay because i already have a mini waffle maker so we gucci we good my mini waffle maker works fine so yeah it did get hot it got hot this is the one that i'm absolutely excited about because like i said i've already had the crock pot before um I'm, i was just getting the new one and we're gonna test it out and see how many watts it is but this one is 260 watts it says so it's a noodle cooker. It's a noodle cooker and skillet. It's both of those. I'm not going to torture y'all watching. I'm going to edit this out. Cause... Okay, it's smaller. It's smaller than I anticipated. It is so tiny. Y'all. Look at this. Look how small it is. This is the like the little skillet part. And then is this the I'm assuming you will make the noodles in this part. I'm assuming. That don't come out. This is, yeah, you'll make the news in this part because you need the death to put some little water in. And then this is the skillet part. This is so cute. See right here, they have like a pancake and then it kind of like some eggs. That's so cute. Okay, let's see. Now, I usually have my Jackery at 100. We haven't, we're not dwelling in the um, van right now. We're making our way back to it. That's why I'm doing this video and testing my things out so i can see what all we need because we got a couple more days and we're hitting the road okay so this is it's at 205 right now but of course it has to get hotter and things like that but this is so cute i'm glad that i ended up finding this because this is going to be a big game changer and we don't eat a lot so we don't need we don't need like big hefty appliances it's not necessary for us and our eating habits <laughs> so it's not going i'm gonna let it sit for a minute i want to see how hot it's getting what i really wanted to do is i wanted to know if i could put some water in here and will it get the water hot that's that's like a thing that I'm really, really excited about. I couldn't find a warmer um, to like one of those like kettle things that was 200 watts. I couldn't find one that was even under 500 watts. So if you know where I can find one at and you have a link to it, let me know because that would definitely be useful. Like very, very useful. Um, like I said, I am up updating my Jackery, but I am in no rush to up date my jacket right now i think the highest jacket they have right now is 2000 i'm really hoping that they have 3000 like they get 3000 that's really what i would want i would want 3000 like i don't care how big it is i need the 3000 that's what i need for me in my life and if i want to go off grid i want to do whatever i want to do i need 300 this is getting really hot so this will actually be good i feel like this would be good to um, get some water hot really, really quick. 
Okay. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, that can get hot. I had to. I had to make sure. Okay, and this is the last thing. My mom bought me this. Look how, look at the box, y'all. Look at the box. It's been so abused. It's been back and forth <laughs> to storage from the Kia Soul to the van. I forgot all about it, to be honest. So we're going to open it up right now and see how it works. This don't want to come out. This is my like gunshot. It's like... Scratches. Good. So this is the magic bullet. Girl, having a hard time. So first of all, you don't even need to, um, you don't even to need to, when you're chopping stuff up, you're not even going to be using it for that long. And it didn't go, from what I saw, it didn't go up 63, 63 watts. I'm trying to decide what I'm all making here. Yeah, from what I saw, it didn't go up 60, 63 watts. So everything pretty much worked except the heart the heart shape waffle maker which is cute but it's okay because with the my mini skillet i can actually make pancakes and that so oh i'm forgetting the crock pot i'm forgetting that i wanted to test the crock pot let me, ow i just hit my finger <laughs> let me test the crock pot right quick and i'm leave y'all on okay very lightweight. This is very lightweight. Mine was not. My crock pot was like if this it get thrown at your head, you're gonna be dead. Now I did warm up water before in my old crock pot, but it just took a little minute. But I did warm up water before. So let's see. This most definitely has to be like washed down with bleach because it looks like it's been used already. Not in a bad way, but you can tell somebody like washed it out or whatever. We're going to wash it with some bleach. I'm going to turn it on high just so I can get a gauge of the wattage. Now, right now it's at 82, but of course, like with things like this, the hotter it gets, the more watts it's going to pull. So over time, this is going to pull more watts. But the fact that it didn't just automatically jump up to like 100 or 200 watts, that's a good thing. That lets me know that I'm going to be able to use this and I'm going to be able to cook meals in it using my Jackery. And then like I said, um, using my Jackery is at 100%. Like I do, really don't even let it go below 90, 80. I've never seen my Jackery below 80. I don't let it get that low. I always keep it um fully charged and i don't charge it overnight make sure y'all don't do that you don't want to overcharge your, your things either but i always make sure it's fully charged to um 100 so it's still pulling is that 81 output but y'all get the gist of what i was trying to show y'all what i was trying to say just don't be so willy-nilly with buying products for your jacket because a lot of people um, a lot of van lifers, I mean, like car dwellers, a lot of car, car dwellers who um, is my age and demographic, I feel as though they have like the Jackery, what is it, 300, I believe, in the 150. I'm going to put the correct ones on the screen, but um, it's just the 500 isn't as much power as you, as you think it is when you're trying to live. When you're trying to be a little bit more self-reliant than living in your car and eating out. When MJ and I was in the car, we didn't eat out often. We probably ate out no more than like once a day. I mean, once a week. And that helps keep costs low. That helps you 
get a sense of a home feeling like cooking for yourself and things like that it helps you be a little bit more sustainable and it's just overall like a really good feeling knowing that okay when push comes to shove i could just make me a meal in my vehicle or if i'm going camping i can just make me a meal while i'm camping you know what i'm saying like that's what we did when we went camping we used the one burner stove that i had that doesn't work with my jackery i learned my lesson um but still some things don't have the right configurations on the box some things, even when you look it up, they don't even be having the right configurations because for this crock pot, somebody has said, and I put in the two point, I put in the two quarts crock pot. It said 2,000 watts. I was like, no. There were some that said 1,500 watts. There were some that said 200. And this was literally on the forum for this crock pot right here. Like, I should be able to look it up and get the right configurations, but sometimes you don't. It just might be a trial and error. You never know. Just make sure you're always doing your research and testing things out as soon as you get it. Because that was another thing I did. I got these things and I was then tested out until we actually got into the car. And I'm like, this doesn't work. So just test it out. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all got something um, out of it. I'm going to clean my mess because I made a mess. And then I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a great safe weekend because it's halloween weekend i got my orange but i don't celebrate halloween but i want y'all to be safe out there all right i'm gonna see y'all in the next one y'all have a good one